Oh, welcome everyone to session number 14. Uh, today we will have a short discussion about tools. Previous lesson, we learned the tips that we must consider uh, these tips during of the uh, developing of the tools. But now we have steps, uh, and these are the steps that we must consider uh, during of the developing of the tools and to create the tool. Uh, for our selected indicators and uh, selected uh, methodology and the methods of the data. Anyway, steps to create tool. We have step one. Uh, step one is uh, understand your uh, indicators. It's very important that we must uh, understand our indicator better. It means that uh, we have uh, tools uh, like as indicator documents and in these documents we have mm, all of our indicators and their definition uh, like as mm, their uh, baseline data, uh, source of information, means of application, uh, responsible department. So anyway, uh, first of all we must understand uh, our indicator and to create people the firm uh, it means that what should we exactly uh, have in this indicator uh, for example uh, here we have number of girls who received microloans uh, this is one of the key performance indicators uh, so uh, in this indicator we find uh, that uh, this indicator can be disaggregated uh, through age and hometown or village uh, so one of the criteria of the strong indicator was that it should be disaggregated uh, so this is a good indicator uh, anyway uh, here we explain only the way that uh, indicator should be that we must uh, understand our indicator very well uh, and every indicator must have a definition for example we do uh, our definition for this indicator is that uh the mm, girls uh, who aged are 18 to 20 and they can earn for example uh from five thousand to ten thousand uh, dollars uh in uh, in one year for the microloan purpose so now we understand that uh, this indicator defined that uh, the girls uh, who, who whose uh, or age are for example from 18 to 20 and they can receive from five thousand to ten thousand uh, dollars per year uh, and we uh, understand our indicator better so this is the step one people of this to create uh, uh, tools uh, we must understand this to uh, step because it's very important and uh, we have step second uh, decide which information to record we must uh, understand that uh, in every data collection tool uh, we have two parts uh, of the information one of them is uh, the essential information that we must uh, focus on during of our data collection tool and the second uh, part is metadata uh, so metadata is very important it plays significant role because it helps with us to, to collect the data where and on which date uh, because if there uh, uh, if we find some mistakes uh, or uh, any appreciation or any other comments we can share this uh, back with that responsible person who collected the data anyway so the uh, in step two uh, we w must decide that which information should be recorded but uh, we must focus on uh, essential information of the indicators uh, because uh, these are very important if we did not uh, focus on the essential information uh, we cannot measure the indicator uh, properly and in appropriate way so now we have a very good example like as uh, the previous example number of girls uh, received micro uh, so here uh, for example we uh, use some question uh, and we write this question in our uh, a form for example one of the uh, very important thing is age uh, amount uh, of the micro uh, hometown and 
any other information for example mobile phone number uh, signature for example like so this is very important uh, that we must decide which information to be recorded step three uh, decided how your phone will be pulled in it's very important uh, because uh, we need to consider the uh, who will fall in the firm or a member uh, of our team one way to make it easier uh, it uh, easier to fall in the uh, firm is to use codes uh, codes or short ways for user to record common categories update uh, could make it uh, quick quicker to fall in a firm and allows more data uh, to fit into small spaces so we can use uh, uh, different codes uh, and uh, the uh, codes will help with us to uh, collect data quickly uh, so but uh, uh, these codes must be explained in the um, uh, in, in, in instruction part of the form for example uh, if we write p what it means uh, so like as p is present for example a is absent x is like we can use for the check marks m we can use for male and f or for female y for yes and n uh, for no so now we can use these codes very well and we can collect the data uh, in a very short uh, period uh, and it will be very uh, like as a good trick to use codes uh, step four: create your forms uh, this is very important as I have mentioned for example we have two parts uh, in the um, one form to create it one is metadata uh, like as the title of the form uh, or title of the tool uh, the responsible person uh, the, who collected the data uh, and has her title uh, date and uh, location uh, also we have essential information uh, related to uh, indicator for example we have one of the indicator that uh, a train for example number of chain uh, uh, government optional and management for example uh, so now we need uh, the participant name uh, their age education level and their signature for example we have three days workshop or training so they can write their name and uh, the, uh, the P and A show their for example presence and absent uh, absentation so it's very important to uh, place this information and uh, for this purpose we create tools uh, we place metadata and the essential information uh, related to indicator I uh, test your form uh, for example we have created this uh, uh, forum uh, we must test this form uh, in our ME department uh, we can distribute this form among of the team uh, the team uh, and they will give uh, very good feedback uh, so during of the test of your form you have found that there are uh, very important information missed and this tool uh, so you have collected from the uh, your team the data you have collected from the team so for this purpose uh, you can uh, revise your power forum as well addition to this if you don't have for example uh, team uh, accessible uh, you don't have accessible uh, team to distribute this form for the test purpose uh, you can start imagination so for example you would like to create a tool uh, and uh, you will send it to uh, a team later uh, and the team is not uh, recruited till now uh, you decided to have this form with you already uh, so instead of this uh, of that person who collect data for you uh, you you would like to be like as that person so you start imagination and you collect data uh, you can find different uh, mistakes in your firm 
so then you can revise but anyway the the good way is to test uh, form with team uh, the team will give uh, feedback and that will be very helpful uh, revise your form for example uh, we have found in this uh, uh, form that uh, there is a uh, need for a signature uh, of the each participant at the end of uh, the page uh, uh, and also we miss mobile number email address for example and the location from which uh, part of the country he uh, is participated in this workshop so we can revise this uh, information and after revision you can send this form to field for the data collection purpose 